breaking a new exclusive News 8 Emerson College poll shows Councilman Malik Evans 10 points ahead of Mayor Lovely Warren in the Rochester mayoral primary race. While that number is good news for Evans, there are positives for Warren under the surface. The 10 point lead Malik Evans enjoys in this poll is based on all Democratic voters surveyed. But when you look at just likely voters, that lead shrinks to just one percentage point, which points to an energized base for Lovely Warren. And it appears last week's arrest of Warren's husband, Timothy Granison, on drug and weapons charges did not shrink that base. In fact, the poll found 39% of voters were more likely to vote for Warren because of the arrest versus 25% who said they were less likely. Here's Emerson College polling director Spencer Kimball. So in fact, in the court of public opinion, this arrest may have boomeranged and may have even given a little springboard to her campaign. Nazareth College political science professor Tim Neeland was not all that surprised by the result. In a state in which we're very aware of structural racism and problems with American policing, that there might generate a kind of sympathy for Warren over what's happening in her home. Again, she's not charged with anything. This is just a tragedy that's landed on her doorstep. And I think voters feel that, or at least the people interviewed felt that. Neeland went on to remind everyone that a Democratic primary in the city of Rochester is going to involve a much different group of voters than a general election. And that difference is often reflected in messaging, meaning it all goes back to that adage, know your audience. So the poll included a variety of questions, including how Rochester and Rochesterians feel about the state of the city. You can see much of what the poll found over at RochesterFirst.com. And ahead of June's primary election, News 8 and the League of Women Voters, we are hosting both Rochester mayoral candidates for a debate. Evans and Warren will be here in the studio tomorrow. It's a one-hour debate. It begins at 7 p.m. You can watch it live on air, but we're also going to live stream it over at rochesterfirst.com.